I've been carrying you for three months. I just saved the airline, saved your goddamn job, which appears to be nothing more than eating, and you stood by while I got fired? Well, fuck you, fuck Dunbarton, and fuck you, you miserable tub of living shit! You think you can put on a pair of slacks and talk to a grown man like that? Well, do you? This is not how business is done. I am a customer of this store of long standing. I bought a radio back here when there was no TV, and you, sir, were still in your dad's balls. <sighs> ah, son of a bitch. Fucking American cars. Trick or treat. Hey, here you go. Happy Halloween from the Muffin Ladies. You're melting my candy! You suck! Yeah, yeah, Reba Dirty. Oh, look at that. Fat Albert. I'm not wearing a costume. Well, then you don't get any fucking candy. All I'm saying is you don't get to make big financial decisions like this by yourself. Then agree with me. That way we both decided together. What the fuck? What are we supposed to watch now? Watch each other! Such a dick! I got a mortgage, I got dependents, and I gotta go downtown every damn day to run that airport. Please, you're just a baggage handler. What the fuck did you just call me? Ah, there you go. Perfect. Let's just bring all the bad news at once. Woo! Come on, Santa. My mouth's wide open. Fly up on the roof and shit down my neck. I said play the party. I'm okay with it. I'm being the cool dad now. It's all groovy. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. Dodge the drafts. Fucking pussies. Christ, we're looking at a strike here. That goddamn Pogo will want me to calm down the union guys while he shoves another fruit pie down his fucking cake hole. Meanwhile, my wife is traipsing around Rye Town selling that plastic shit to pill popping housewives, and I don't get supper till. Hey. Oh, there you are. You recognize that handwriting? That's me. I made out that schedule. Without that schedule, the bags don't get off the planes, and the whole airport grinds to a halt. That leads to a domino effect. Every airport closes, then anarchy sets in, food lines grow. Dad, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah? Talk to me when we're eating the fucking dog for supper. Yeah, I'm gonna be Mr. Coconut. No, you are not. Mr. Coconut is a mister. If he's a mister, why does he have milk inside? Ah, uh, that's man milk. Supper time. <sighs> what are we having? More free food. What are you bitching about? With your constant fucking dick, 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 Ah, here it comes. Here it comes, the old dick, 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 I don't dick, 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 you asshole. Oh, Christ, so what does a priest know about marriage? He's married to God. God's invisible, and he's happy as long as you show up once a week to eat his son. Guys, I'm trying to sleep. Then close your eyes and shut the fuck up. Hey, so how many kids do we have? Back in the old days, the good Lord had the decency to take one or two out with polio or get mauled by a bear. Something to help out. Jeez! Oh, Christ. Who keeps turning this up to 64? Dad's cold. Quit your bitching, Kevin. Kids in Africa would kill to see their breath. I hate you! I wish I was never born! Ah, we finally agree on something. What the hell are you doing here? What are you doing here? It's my fucking house. I don't care. I hate school. Well, I hate my life, but I keep on doing it. No, 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 no. Colt Luger is a man. You are a girl. Take that off. Cocksucker! What? Where did you hear that? Oh, right. Hey, when your mother comes home, don't tell her I use that word. What if she never comes home? Die, you little cocksucker! Oh, let me tell you something, you goddamn son of a bitch. I don't need a goddamn engraved family Bible. You see? You see? What I say every goddamn time. I am eating dinner with my family, young man. I don't need a $25 Bible to teach me about God. I almost bled out in Korea, all right? I have met God. Fuck it off, Bill. She started it. Well, I started you, and I can end you. Be nice to your sister. Someday you'll be sleeping on her couch after your first divorce. Can Billy come out and play? Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. I thought you were going to be happy tonight. Never assume that. What's the point of it all, anyway? The point is, that's life, and life has no point. You work hard, you get ahead, you start a family, and the kids don't appreciate you. Next thing you know, you're old, no one comes around anymore, and you're staring at the wall. And one day, the neighbors notice a funny smell, and that's when they figure out the cat's eating your face. So go to school! Oh, so help me God. If I started building walls today and didn't stop for the next 10 years, there still wouldn't be enough of them to fucking put you through! If you don't get her a doctor right now, but for all these other low-life pieces of shit, then I will follow you to whatever home for dried up old hags you live in, slap the cat food out of your mouth, grab you by your camel hump, and put you through that fucking wall! I need you two to play nice with each other and don't get in any trouble. And I am putting you in charge of your sister today. You got that? Yep. 
Okay, if anything bad happens to her, I want you to call me at work. Okay, buddy? Sure, Dad. Good. Because then I will come right home and I will put you through that fucking wall. Have a great day, Princess. Oh, wow, Dad, is this you and Mom? You almost look happy. That's because you weren't born yet. <laughs> I sure ruined your life. Yes, you did.